Hello everyone, my name is Ali Rahimi Khojaste from Inghae. We are at French National Institute for Agriculture, Food and Environment. And uh, I would like to talk about uh, adjustable interrogation window for 2D PIV measurements based on Lagrangian coherent structures or local Lagrangian coherency. Uh, here we have eight sections and I uh, will talk about the uh, importance of the interrogation window and how to adjust the interrogation window and we'll have two synthetic and uh, experimental case studies with a uh, conclusion at the end. Well, uh, first um, let's talk about the importance of the interrogation window. We know that both cross-correlation and uh, optical flow PIV algorithms, they both require interrogation window. And they both need to size and shape this window appropriately in order to maintain the uh, the balance between uh, accuracy and robustness. Uh, early study uh, from Tennyson uh, proposed that so we can shape the uh, interrogation window based on image signals. So basically where you have more particles, you have more signals, so you can shape the window to locally enhance the uh, special resolution bar. But our uh, motivation is to focus on regions with high gradients. We have seen that Wienerker proposed that you can shape the window based on the image uh, quality, like the image signal, based on correlation values, and also based on local flow gradients, especially in shear regions. That's exactly uh, what we would like to uh, uh, work on it when you have high gradients. We say, oh, okay, you can change the local uh, interrogation window based on local flow gradient, but what if we know more information of the flow inside the interrogation window? So we can use this information to shape your window instead of uh, just uh, seeing what is the flow gradients. So in that case, we can use Lagrangian coherent structures to determine uh, to determine where we have coherent motion with respect to, to your target pixel, and then uh, you can shape your window based on the boundaries of Lagrangian coherent structures. We we know that LCS are uh, acting like uh, the skeleton of the flow, so they are borders of the flow. Uh, assuming we have a uh, polyhyperbolic flow behavior, which can happen when a couple of vortices interact with each other. So you can apply Lagrangian coherent structures inside your interrogation window by FTLE or finite time uh, Lyapunov exponent to determine these regions, boundaries between flow motions. Then you can index the, the coherent region of your interrogation window which is yellow in this section, in this example, and uh, shape your interrogation window. To assess this idea, we use local optical flow approach to evalu evaluate this uh, adjustable interrogation window. Well, we know that uh, optical flow requires a quite uh, careful measurement and precise measurement to reduce all the inter uncertainties that we are adding during the measurement but instead we can get higher special resolution that means for each pixel we can have one vector estimation first uh, synthetic analysis we created synthetic images piv images by uh, by uh, synthetic piv images of uh, 2d isotropic uh, homogeneous turbulent flows and uh, we used direct numerical simulation to uh, simulate the region and we had uh, a periodic boundary conditions on the sides of the domain and uh, we, then we created PIV images. To do comparison, we have two approaches, global comparison and local comparison, and we have three terms to be compared. RMS value representing the magnitude of your estimation vorticity uh, and or we can say vorticity estimation error and angular error so we have three terms to compare and also uh, two global and local view uh, scenarios in global view 
on the right side you can see if we compare optical flow and coherence optical flow uh, if you compare the rms value magnitude we can see we have improvements compared to the classic optical flow we still have a uh, quite large value of error in complex regions like these two vertices but overall improvement is acceptable in the vorticity estimation error the situation is much better you have quite noisy reconstruction of uh, vorticity by optical flow and when you apply adjustable interrogation window you can have better estimation of vorticity and when it comes to angular error and uh, in uh, in uh, is the same scenario you have improvement in global view in the in your whole region and while you still have some high error values in some specific regions but if we look on the flow in a local view we can see we can have improvements up to 50 percent in some specific regions which is quite good news that that means you can explore more physics in local regions where you have gradients when you are when you, where you have uh, quite complex motion to this end we picked uh, three specific regions hyperbolic shear and vortex for example here you have here we have hyperbolic let's say we have two vortices so we can have hyperbolic flow we have vortex here we have high shear here so we picked these three regions to see what improvements may have locally we can have if you look at the dns results this is dns uh, uh, vector field this is dns vorticity contour and if we compare optical flow and lcs based optical flow or lcs based estimation we can see we have a bit of improvement and if you have a look on the error map well we have high error in this region where you have saddle point and we can see we still have error it's it's uh, it's uh, we can see it but the we have improvements compared to the classic uh, optical flow the shear region uh, here is another example you have pure shear behavior you have high gradient in this direction and here is the vorticity contour we can see we have both techniques could well, manage to estimate to more or less good compared with respect to the ground truth but if you look at the error we have very high value of error here where you have high shear and well inter adjustable interrogation window managed to uh, improve regions around your shear so that's that's uh, uh, another another improvement for the vortex region we have pure vortex here nice uh, vortex uh, uh, contour here and well in comparison of the um, of the vortex estimation vortex estimation of the of the uh, optical flow and lcs based well, we have a bit in better uh, vortice contour compared to DNS uh, for uh, LCS based, and for the error also we have quite uh, visible improvements compared to optical flow, uh, classic optical flow. So in both global and local uh, regions, we have improvements in synthetic data. The next step would be experiment study we performed the experiments of the cylinder wake flow at reynolds number 3900 we had 2d 2c measurement using a laser for the illumination and 5 megapixel camera and um, to we compared the results with uh, davis cross correlation based piv uh, technique or obtained by davis in uh, Devi's soft software, our final uh, special resolution was 16 pixel, and we used a multi-pass ve vector calculation uh, technique, and our final overlap value was 75%. So here we have setting for Devi's, and here we have instantaneous vorticity field 
uh, of the experiment. First, uh, let's compare the optical flow with uh, and without interrog uh, adjustable interrog If we add adjustable interrogation window, we can and uh, uh, subtract the value with the classic optical flow, we can see we have some modifications in some complex regions for example here you have we have shear and we have modifications of uh, a vector of the velocity estimation if you use adjustable window and also in other complex regions where we have vortex turning back into the wake we have improvements up to uh, two and a half uh, pixel per time step that's uh, that's quite a uh, high value high value in local regions and if you look at the uh, places that we don't have complex motion the modification is 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 almost nothing because all the motions inside the interrogation window is uh, coherent with your uh, target bar pixel so you don't have to shape your uh, window so your result would be more or less the same we compared the results with Davies. Uh, let's say he, here was one uh, one instantaneous uh, result of the vorticity very close to the cylinder, and here we have a shear, a quite a high shear region. And if we zoom uh, this region and see what's happening, and we put both Davies and coherent optical flow results uh, at the same uh, plot. You see the the orange vector is caused by Davies, and the gray one is by coherent optical flow. Both techniques manage to uh, to estimate the shear. Here we have shear, but and we have high deceleration. But if you look closely, we can see uh, coherent optical flow managed to have more details of the shear. So you have more physics of the shear, not only just only the sudden change of the vector field you have more details of what's happening so we have a smooth change and uh, in conclusion uh, we can say that okay uh, by adding lcs you can see the lagrangian coherent structure uh, boundaries then you can determine where you are have coherent motion then you have a more accurate estimation of your uh, velocity field but it is expensive we have to say that but instead of in uh, well the price you pay for the this uh, method and what you get is that you have better resolved uh, uh, vector field in complex regions and uh, also uh, interested readers can use uh, open access lcs codes that uh, they can integrate it with their piv uh, algorithms to improve uh, uh, in locally improve uh, estimations in uh, complex regions thanks for your attention